Blessed day, my viewers and my subscribers. Before we jump into the topics, may I begin to hit that like button? It will be greatly appreciated. Now, the topics coming up in this video. CCTV footage exposes a harsh reality about Donna Lee police boyfriend and her body being missing. Bob Marley granddaughter bash after wearing White Lives Matter shirt. Bounty Cabini man and Ninja Man mural removed from Merciless Grave. And dancehall artist Popcorn gets escorted by police. So, the first thing we're going to talk about is some more breaking news that we got as it relates to now. Well, Maitland and Donnelly, as yes, my people, boy, oh boy, today when I see the mother, I tell you no people, I really want to say some prayers for her, believe me, say, say as much prayers as you can for the mother. Anyway, we're going to talk about the mother a little bit later down, I'm going to actually get to the meat of the matter right now, which is some news when I see right about now, people, as it relates to some CCTV footage where them actually find or some more evidence where them have for Noel Maitland, as yes, my people, so this is what the story is saying, a car wash, Truck driver and CCTV prosecution outlines chilling details in the case of Donnelly Donaldson. The prosecution Tuesday morning outlined chilling details of the case of MURDER against Constable Noel Maitland in the Home Circuit Court. The case involves a car wash, a truck driver, a series of CCTV cameras, and what has been described as a red or brown coach. The court, for the first time, heard details of the prosecution case against the police constable in a post in the application for bail. Prosecutors told presiding justice Vinette Graham Allen that on the afternoon of July the 13th, Maitland allegedly went to a hardware store along Constant Spring Road in St. Andrew. While at the store, prosecutors allege he entered into a contractual agreement with a truck driver to transport a coach from his New Kingston apartment to Halfway Tree. The truck driver reportedly drove behind Maitland to his apartment complex. The prosecutors told the court of Upon arrival at the complex, the truck driver observed the accused policeman and another man enter an apartment unit on the second floor of the complex. They then re-emerged from the apartment with what has been described as a red or brown couch. The couch was reportedly loaded into the driver's truck. The accused then allegedly led the truck driver to a car wash along Lindus Road. On arrival at the car wash, prosecutors alleged the accused policeman got out of his car and the two others followed. The movement of the accused and the other two men were reportedly captured on CCTV cameras at multiple locations. The court was told earlier in the day on July the 13th, Maitland allegedly went to the car wash and made inquiries about having his couch wash. He allegedly told the car wash attendant he was taking the couch to be washed because his cousin suffered an injury to his hands, causing him to be LEED out in a little part of the city. As the prosecution outlined the allegation against him, Maitland repeatedly whispered to his attorney. The prosecutors alleged that on this on the evening of July the 13th at about 7 p.m., um, the accused policeman placed a phone call to a resident in the New Kingston era. The prosecutors told the court Maitland allegedly told the resident he had concerns that the cameras owned um, by the residents may have been recorded him walking with a spliff. The prosecution is alleging Maitland told the residents he was concerned the footage may jeopardize his prospects for an impending promotion. The prosecution told the court that Maitland allegedly told the residents he wanted the footage deleted. The residents reportedly refused to comply. On July the 14th, prosecutors are alleging Maitland reportedly went to another resident's apartment and explained that someone who was allegedly with him and got on missing. He allegedly asked the resident to see the footage of July the 12th. The prosecution alleges that Maitland was reportedly shown parts of the recording. The prosecution told the court that Maitland allegedly expressed a desire to see the footage deleted. The court was told by the prosecutors that upon reviewing of the footage, Maitland was allegedly seen arriving at the apartment complex with a young lady described as having long hair. The prosecutors allege Maitland was then seen leaving the complex unaccompanied. The prosecution is alleging Maitland called the resident who owned the CCTV footage twice on the 15th of July and three times on the 16th of July. It's been alleged that the accused policeman expressed concern that the police may want to see the footage. The residents who owned the CCTV cameras allegedly told police investigators he felt pressured. You see it, my people, so that is what's going on. What a chilling piece of testimony, your people. 
I'm not lie. And we did even see some more, um, what you call it, some more update come out. Basically saying that, you know, them did fine R, B L O O D on his um him sneakers. Cause I remember when no said them did find it. Well, the police them said them find it pan um him curtain and obviously the sofa. But we never know about the sneakers and stuff like that. You understand? So we did see the Jamaica star they put out something saying DNA on Donnelly's toothbrush matches B L O O D found in Maitland's apartment. Yes, yeah, my people. So forensic team definitely did do some work on I don't lie, I have to big them up still, them, them definitely, you know, go in and find some evidence and stuff. I don't even need to hear nothing more, you know, people. Me I tell you the truth, I don't need to hear anything more. I'm really and truly sorry for the mother, as today, you know, you can definitely sit it down upon her face, people. Although, you know, she did done down already, you know, because she made a post the day before and was talking how she feel and, you know, the mother got treat, but today... You know, the mother, well, the footage that I saw, she couldn't even talk much, you know. She was being supported by a lot of persons and stuff like that, you see me? Sophia Log, we Jamaicans stand by you 100%. You understand what I mean? Say, you know, we might not in your shoes, so we might not directly know exactly how you feel, but we all can relate, you understand? Because we all, you know, at some point lose somebody who we love, who we really love, and who we close to and all them things. So, you know, I really hope you get the justice that you deserve. Not where you want, you know, where you deserve. You see me? You, you deserve to get that. Trust my people, so I'm just there for going to this update as it relates to all of this. Is it my people? So let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're gonna talk about Bob Marley granddaughter being bashed basically because she wear a shirt that mark White Lives Matter. You understand what I mean? It's actually a Kanye West Yeezy shirt and thing. So let me get into this story and let me know, people, if you would actually rock a shirt that mark White Lives Matter. You see it, but this is what the story is saying. Bob Marley's granddaughter faced backlash for modeling Yeezy's White Lives Matter shirt. Celia Marley, the granddaughter of legendary reggae icon Bob Marley, has faced major backlash online after wearing a controversial White Lives Matter Yeezy shirt during Yeezy fashion show in Paris on Monday. Celia, who is the daughter of Ron Marley and the legendary R&B singer Lauren Hill, shared a handful of content with herself, drowning the slogan on her IG. The slogan, which is aimed as a counter to the social justice Black Lives Matter was plastered on the back of some of the apparel at show and shown by Yeezy himself and controversial political commentator Candice Owens. While Kanye West, who is known for triggering activities, was met with the expected heavy pushback following the messaging sealer's participation was pulled into the firestorm. Given her heritage of the Marley family's line, strong identity and fight for Afrocentrism, along with her mother's strong messaging of embracing and pride for black culture, made it all the more baffling to many. Sila has yet to address the scrutiny following the show. Kanye, however, who is really at a loss for words, posted a message further shading the BLM movement on his Insta story, seemingly addressing the instance on the matter of the show backlash. Billionaire musician and fashion icon has been known to stir the pot when it comes to the socio-political views, especially in recent years, in regards to race relations issues in the States. Yeah, see, my people. So what do you guys think? Would you actually wear a shirt that says White Lives Matter? You understand what I'm saying? But what I'm not understand, Zine people, why not just wear a shirt that says All Lives Matter then? Zine, why specifically? I mean, know some people are going to say, well, I guess, you know, they're counter the Black Lives Matter movement. But I don't know still, you know, to each his own. You understand what I'm saying? But let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about Bounty Beanie Man and Ninja Man mural removed from Merciless Grave. Is it my people? So this is what the story I say. The much talk about the mural that was painted on the Merciless burial site depicting the sting clash in 2000 in which he faced off against Bounty, Beanie Man and Ninja Man has been removed. According to the late DJ's dancer, DJ's family, the funeral of the 51-year-old Clarendon born entertainer, real name Leonard Bartley, sparked controversy last month after Beanie and Bounty were criticized by Merciless manager Haval Gaddafi Hart, selector Ricky Chopra and several others for being no-shows at the 
the service in an IRFM interview this week, Merciless niece, known as British, revealed that it wasn't the family decision to create the mural, but rather the painter's idea. In light of the subsequent controversy, the family thought it was best to erase the images. The painter who was painting the graves, he drew the picture he chose. It wasn't something that the family members knew about that was going to be a part of what he was going to paint. He painted pictures that he wanted to paint, she said. In response to the criticism, Bounty had um, initially cited the disrespectful mural as a reason for his absence from the funeral. According to Bounty, people were celebrating the DJ's victory over him and being a man at Sting instead of celebrating his life. Bounty further defended his absence during an interview on the Grand Cayman Hot 104.1 FM a week ago by declaring that he and the late veteran DJ were not friends and that he did not owe Merciless or his family anything other than condolences. Bounty, who was very heated about the situation, Situation further alleged that Merciless passed away due to a drug overdose. However, an autopsy reported deemed the cause of the passing to be inconclusive. A doctor caught Merciless, Bounty said, they just shy to say it. It was no heart problem or nothing bridging. A overdose messed up the man. And we not even want to elaborate upon the man or nothing. But them is critics for gwe. Me not going to funeral. Me a bad man. No boy can't ramp with me. And Merciless wasn't my friend. He wasn't my colleague. He was just a co-worker. Merciless no show me no love, no respect. Me not owe Merciless and him family nothing more than condolences. Bounty argued the music veteran was found passed away on July the 19th at a motel off Beechwood Avenue in St. Andrew after he complained that he wasn't feeling well. He was laid to rest in a family plot in Clarendon on September the 17th. Merciless 2000 Sting performance when he annihilated Ninja Man, Bounty and Beanie in a lyrical battle has gone down in the history books as one of the most memorable moments in dancehall. He was renowned for his songs such as Len Out My Mercy, Mavis, Mama Cooking, Gal Gizada, Old Gallis and God Alone. So yes, my people, I definitely think that that was the best move for remove Bounty, Beanie and Ninja are fight. You understand what I'm saying? So you don't know, big ups to Merciless family. I don't know why the painter had choose to put that pun it in the first place. Yes, my people. Um, but just let me know what's going on. Yes, my people. So let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're gonna talk about the unruly boss popcorn getting escorted by police and thing. You understand, people? So this is what the story I say. Popcorn gets police escort through traffic. International dancehall superstar Popcorn has once again shown that he is on a higher level by receiving a police escort through traffic. Hours ago, the 876 artist appeared in a video navigating traffic on a three-wheel motorcycle alongside fellow DJ Chronicler. A second video was also shared showing the artist mounted on his three-wheeler as he follows a Jamaica Constabulary Force service vehicle. The entertainer clad in a short yellow sweatsuit rode through the traffic on his green motorcycle with the police vehicle le leading the way. The footage was recorded by an individual following closely behind Popcorn on his own bike. You see, my people, so you don't know Popcorn does uh, enjoy himself and you don't know him to get police escort, which is something rare because we know say, Poppy is not really into the, the, the police them. Or maybe I just sent Thomas one them him narrate. <laughs> anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. And thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bless upon yourself until we drop the next video. I'm out.